Hi friends, welcome to my channel and then of course I speak Nagman. Today in this class we will see how to find the rank of the matrix using a long form of a matrix. In previous class we have seen the concept of a long form of the matrix and how to convert for a given matrix into a long form of the matrix we have seen in with the clear steps in the previous class. Now today we will solve one more problem. Uh, this problem by uh, converting into a long form and we will find the rank of this given matrix. The rank of the matrix this is the symbol for using the rank of the matrix. Okay. So we are going to solve this problem. We will see how the echelon form will look. Okay. Then only we can convert a file given matrix into echelon form. So that's why we will write first the uh, echelon form, how echelon form of the matrix is looks. Okay. Here I am writing. So first one is the first set of echelon form is each entry of the first non-zero element is 1. Okay. So if you see here, here 1. Uh, either it might be any number, so I am indicating with the x, okay. And the number of zeros in the uh, next uh, row, like next row, which is uh, more than the number of zeros in the previous row, so here 0. And the uh, first entry of non zero element is 1, so I am writing 1 here, and here it might be any number. Similarly, I am writing here also. 1, any number x. Here, 0, 0, 0, 0, or 1, 2, 3, any number. So, I am writing 0. So, this, in this way, the echelon form will look. It's almost like upper triangular matrix. The entry of each element is 1. Okay, this is the condition for, in this way, the echelon form of the matrix will look. So, for finding for the rank of the matrix of this matrix will have to convert this matrix into this form. Okay, so first, if you see here, okay, first I am uh, removing here. And, okay, if you see here, I will uh, write this is the row one and this is the second row, row two, and this one is R3, row three, and this one is R4. Okay, and if you see here, uh, the first row of the element is 1. First element is 1. Here also 1. So there is no need to change row 1. Okay. If here, if you have 2, 3, 5, any other than 1, any number, you have to convert this uh, element into 1. Okay. If you have 0, you have to interchange with the below rows. Then you can convert into that element into 1. So here already they have given one. So there is no need to change the row one. So there is no change in row one. And if you see next row, here second row, third row and fourth row. The first element of each element is zero. So here we have minus two, minus three, one. So we have to convert this R2, R3, R4 first element as zero by using R1. Okay. So now I will write row operations. If you see carefully, see here. With this step only, you can go through the further steps, okay? So, row 2 tends to, we need here 0. So, we already have minus 2. So, we have to add plus 2. Then, we will get 0. So, here in R1, we have 1. So, we have to multiply this with 2. Then, we will get here 2 ones are 2 plus minus 2. We will get 0. That's why we have to multiply R1 with 2. So, R2 tends to here R2 plus 2 into R1. This is the first operation for a row. And then one, we have to convert this row 3 first element also into 0. So we have minus 3. Then here we will add plus 3. Then we will get 0. So similarly, we get R3 tends to this R3 plus 3 times of R1. Then we will get 0. Next one is R4. We have directly 1. So, we will subtract R4 minus R1. Okay. R4 tends to R4 minus R1. Okay. These are the row operations we have to do for solving these equations. Okay. Now, equivalent of this matrix. Why we are indicating equivalent? So, we are 
doing some row operation and we are changing this matrix. So that's why we are writing this equivalent of this matrix. Okay. Here equal to there is no change in R1. So I'm writing as this one, two, three, four, R2, R2 plus two R plus two R1 is enough. So we will write here row operations to avoid confusions. Two R1 means two ones are two, two four, and two three is a six, two four is a eight. Okay. Next one is here three R1 is there. So we will multiply with. 3R, 3 into 1, 3, 3 goes a 6, and 3, 3 is a 9, and 3, 4 is a 2. We have 2R1 and 3R1. Just we directly add row 2 with R2, and row 3 is R3 plus 3R1. Okay. If you see here, row 3, row 2 is row 2 plus 2R1. Row 2 is this one plus 2R1, minus 2 plus 2. We will get 0, minus 3. Plus 4, we will get 1. And 1 plus 6, we will get 7. 2 plus 8, we will get 10. Okay. Then row 3. Minus 3, here we are, plus 3 are. Plus 3 are. So minus 3 plus 3 will get 0. Minus 4 plus 6, we will get 2. And 5 plus 9 is 14. And this 8 plus 12, we will get 20. Then R4, R4 tends to R4 minus R1, R4 minus R1, so 1 minus 1, here, yeah. 0, and 3 minus 2, we will get 1, and 10 minus 3, we will get 7, and 14 minus 4, we will get 10, okay, this is the, so we got this matrix, okay, if you see here, here, R2 and R4 are same. So, by using R2, we can convert R4 as 0. And if you see, observe this row 3 also. This is row 3 is 2 times of row 1 or uh, row 2 or row 4. So, by using row 2 also, we can convert row 3 as 0. Okay. Now, I will write here. Now, I am erasing here. Okay. So, now we will see. We convert. <coughs> Row 2 we can't change. Row 3 and row 4 we will change. This is the first operation here. Okay. This is the first step is completed. So second step I am writing here. Okay. Second running is what is the word? Uh, there is no change in R1 and R2. We got 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. There is no need to change. If we have uh, here other than 1, like any other than one number, then we have to convert that time this into one by uh, using row operations. Okay, so now we have one, so there is no need to change. Then we will come to row three and row four. Here, row three tends to R3 minus 2R2. Then we will get zero here. Similarly, R4 tends to R4 minus this R. Okay, you see here, I'll write here. So, I'll write in small matrix, please. Uh, I think it is visible to you, everyone. Now, I'm writing here. You see here, there is no change in uh, R1 and R2. So, I'm writing as this. 1, 2, 3, and 4. 0, 1, 7, and 10. Here, two times of R2, 2 ones are 2, 2 two same, 2 7 are 14, 2 10 are 20. So both are same. So we get 2 minus 2, 0, 14 minus 0, 20 minus 2 times of 10, 20. So we get 0. Here also 0 minus 0, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, 7 minus 7, 0, 10 minus 10, 0. We get here 0. And here is there any row remaining for changing row operations? No, because if you want to convert a row 2 with the help of row 1, we will get here some other than 1. So, there is no need to disturb. So, final matrix is this one. We can't change anything. So, what is the rank of this matrix? Rank of the matrix which is equal to number of non-zero rows. Here, non-zero rows are row 1 and row 2. 
row 3, row 4 are zeros. So row 1 and row 2. Number of non-zero rows are 2. So this is the answer for given matrix. Okay, rank of the 8.2. Okay, in this way you can find the rank of the matrix using the acronym form of the matrix. I hope this video is helpful to you. Uh, if you like this class, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your Thank you all. Okay, if you want to take the screenshot, you can check. This is the first step. This is the second step. And this is the example I have given, like how a cloud form looks. Okay, this is the final class. You can take the screenshot.